guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, last week I started a small business online for the first time in my life. It's like a dream come true. And guys, I sold 32 packages. I said I'm going to sell 30 packages, but I added a few extras just to be like extra safe. And now I'm completely sold out. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting. So if you see my last video, you will know that I'm going to make every single item in the package. The package will come with an iPhone case, a phone grip, and a pack of candies. So today I'm going to make all the products and then pack them into small packages. And lastly, at the end, I'm going to tell you guys how much I made. I'm sure some of you guys are really interested in knowing all the process. So hopefully this will be like some kind of inspiration for you guys, or you know, hopefully it'll give you guys like some kind of idea when you start a small business. So like I'm literally taking you through my journey from the start to the very end. Well, maybe not the very end because I'm not going to stop here. But yeah, there's so much to do. Let's just jump right in. So starting a small business part two. Let's get started. Am I in the frame? I can't really see myself. First off, I'm going to make some phone grips. So the process is really easy. I'm going to print it on a printable shrink tank using my printer and print. Okay, moving on, I stick it onto the cutting mat, place it inside my Cricut machine. Release. I'm just going to peel it off the mat. So it should look something like this. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to get some tape. I'm going to place the back part onto the sheet. The back white sheet is going to peel off really easily like so. It is ready to put it into the oven. I'm going to do the same thing for this one and peel. Lastly, I'm going to get some cooking sheet and place it inside the oven. It's just so fun watching them shrink. And now you're just going to quickly take it out and press onto it using something flat. And the reveal. Ta -da! There we have it. All we're just going to do now is to get the phone grip and the double sided tape, tape it down, peel, and place right in the center. And we're done. So we're just going to continue this until we make 32. I can only make two phone grips with one sheet. So I'm going to print out at least 16 pages. so I thought. I really thought all I needed was 16 pages, but shrink things are so fragile I messed up so many times. Like sometimes the colors turned out weird, they get scratched, bent, and I failed at least half of the time. It's probably because it's also my first time making this many at once, I guess it was bound to happen. Whenever you start something new, there will always be things that will go wrong. Like mistakes are bound to happen and you learn from it. So while it seems a little wasteful and I did waste a few sheets, I think the experience itself wasn't really a waste. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a tiny scratch mark right here. So yeah, sadly, I'm going to throw this one away. Oh my gosh, can you guys believe it? After 30 minutes, no, it's been like 40 minutes. I was only able to make two. The thing is, shrink things are like super fragile. Like something can just go wrong. And I don't want to use like any of the ones that's not Minori approved. So I was only able to make two. Um, I'm actually going to stop here for now. I have to go eat dinner with my family. This is going to take a long time, guys. After dinner, I went straight back to work again. By the way, I think some people are wondering why I'm peeling off the back part of the shrink dink. Like honestly, you don't need to peel it off, but I noticed that for this special type of shrink dink that I'm using, it looks better with that back side off. I guess it depends on the shrink dink. Like if it's a completely transparent one, then you definitely don't need to do this. It's just not something you always need to do with every shrink dink. So I messed up quite a few. For example, some of them kind of like shriveled up and kind of got stuck onto itself. Some of them turned out to be a little bit deformed. Can you see this dent? 
Some of them, the colors turned out completely different. I mean, it's still cute, but you can totally see the difference. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this one. It's so fat. So yeah, I ended up messing up a lot and I was only able to make 20 today. I'm kind of out of all the sheets. So since it's 11 p.m. right now, I think I'm good for today. And I think I'm going to go to the store tomorrow to buy more sheets. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I came to my local craft store to buy some shrink things, but <gasps> they're out of it. They usually have the printable shrink things right here, but they don't even have one left. Aww. Well then, time to go to Amazon. It is now the next day, and I got some extra shrink things from Amazon. So I need to make at least 12 more charms. So I actually bought more sheets from Amazon, and to my surprise, they came the next day. Oh my gosh, Amazon is literally my life. So I am making more charms today, but then this time my printer stopped working. I don't know why, but it randomly started to print in black and white only, and I had to work on my printer for the rest of the day. I cleaned the nozzle and did like everything that I can, and it finally started to work again the next day. So this is like day three since I started working on my phone grips. I'm still in my phone grips, guys. I was so ready to finish it that day. Printer is working, I have enough sheets. I didn't want to delay the project anymore because I wanted to give it to you guys as soon as possible. Oh, and I say this every single time, but oh my gosh, it's so interesting just looking at them shrinking. Now I am finally, finally done making all the charms. Now it's time to stick them onto the phone grips using double-sided tape. All you have to do is peel, press, and that's it. So again, we're going to repeat these steps 32 times. Hey guys, so day three to four, I am done with all my phone grips. So now it's time to make some phone cases. So here's all my phone cases, but there's one problem. It doesn't have a tag or anything. Um, It's really easy to tell the iPhone 7, 8 cases, but the iPhone 12 and 11 cases, they're basically like exactly the same. So I'm just going to check the size using my iPhone. Since it's almost Christmas, I'm going to use a really cute Christmassy song. What do you guys think? So I am now finally moving on to sublimating the iPhone cases. I honestly don't even know what sublimating means, but I'm basically printing the designs onto the blank cases. It's actually really easy. If you want like a full full tutorial, I do have a video up on my channel, so please check it out maybe after this video. But here, I'm going to give you guys a quick explanation on what I'm doing. So, how to sublimate phone cases 101. You need a sublimation printer with a sublimation ink and use a sublimation paper. Print it out and it'll look something like this. Then you cut it into pieces and you'll need a blank phone case. Peel off the protection on the top and using a heat resistant tape, tape it on like so. And I'm going to make two phone cases at once. I'm going to place it onto the mat. Here's a heat press that's preheated to 375 Fahrenheit and we're going to use it for 115 seconds. And start. So while we're waiting, I'm going to prepare my other phone cases. And it's done. Release. And we're going to wait for it to cool down. Don't touch it, it's really, really hot. I kind of touch it anyways after like a minute or two when it's like still super hot because I can't wait. I hate waiting and because I'm an adult. So I'm going to put this aside, let it rest for a few more minutes and start. I'm getting hungry. So it's been a few minutes. Let's see how it turned out. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So this is how you basically sublimate a phone case. Ooh, nice. So I'm just going to repeat the process until I'm done with all the phone cases. So we're just going to fast forward here, but I have to say I messed up a few times again for this process since I would sometimes forget to peel off the protective seal. You know, mistakes are bound to happen on your first try. And I'm here to show you guys every detail on what I did wrong and my whole journey because I think it could help someone in some kind of way. 
So now I'm done sublimating. It is now time to stick it onto the phone cases. You can just peel it off and stick it on. And there we have our super original phone case. And again, I'm just going to repeat the process until I'm done. So this part looks so easy. All you have to do is peel and stick it on. Right? Right? Wrong. I mean, it's so simple, but it's also really hard to make it straight. Like if you make it crooked even a little, it's going to be so noticeable. You have to place it in the right place. And if you mess up, you can't redo it. The tape is so strong, once you touch it, you won't be able to peel it off. So I actually failed a few times during this process as well, and I ended up making more than like 40 cases in total. Like I knew that was going to happen, so I actually bought extra cases just in case, and oh my gosh, I really needed those extra cases. So guys, it's been like a week. I am now done making all the products. I can now finally pack everything and send it to you guys. So today I'm going to package everything and ship it tomorrow. Okay, so before I start packing, there's something that I want to make. Here's some cards and a stamp. And I'm going to write a thank you card for everyone. I'm just going to get my stamp, rub the ink on, and stamp onto the paper. I'm going to make 32 since I got 32 orders. Some of them's not going to be perfect, but I think it's okay. I think that's what makes it even special. Like I know everyone who bought my stuff aren't like random people who happen to find my site. I know that they're all people who have been supporting me. They're basically my followers and it means so much to me. They're more than just followers or supporters to me. So I want to treat these packages with extra, extra care. That's why I want to like hand make every single card and package everything by myself. And on each card, I want to hand write a thing you note. I know it's not much, but thank you so so much to everyone who's here for me, bought these packages, and supported my first small business. Like really, thank you so much. Okay, I messed up a little bit too much on this one, so I'm gonna throw this one away. I'm just going to write a small thank you on each card in both Japanese and English. I limited my shipping to the US and Japan only and I basically got orders from both countries. Maybe a little bit more from Japan than from the States. By the way, I am currently selling my diamond art painting on my site and I decided to ship it to India and United Kingdom as well. So don't forget to check it out guys. I feel so bad because my handwriting is so bad. But I guess that happens when you have to like make a lot of cards. I'm sorry. So phone cases, check. Phone grips, check. Candies, check. Cards, check. Now it's finally time to start packing. I washed my hands with soap. And to be extra safe, I'm going to spray on some alcohol. Perfect. Spraying some on the desk. So now, all clean. So how to pack? I'm going to put the cases all in this bag. And then I'm going to get one foam grip and put it inside this sparkly bag. One bag of candy. And I'm going to wrap it with some tissue paper. Place it and put it inside the bag. I'm going to slide in one card and that's basically it. So here's one package ready to go. So here I'm done packing all the iPhone 7 8s and the iPhone 11s. So now I'm going to put this aside and now I'm going to pack my iPhone 12s.
And guys, I am finally done with all the packing. Okay, so I actually packed everything and shipped to everyone a few weeks ago. So hopefully most of you guys have my products by now. And to the question I think everyone's waiting for, how much did I make from starting a small business? Um, how much did I make from the products? It's actually really simple math. So I sold the packs for $35 and I sold 32, which means <laughs> I made $1,120. However, I didn't make like $1,120. I actually had to buy the products and everything. So I calculated everything and this is how much it cost for me to make the products. So I paid for the packaging, the hollow packaging, the cards, wrapping paper, stamp, shrink dinks, sublimation paper, phone grip, phone cases, and the Shopify page. I probably missed some stuff a little bit, but that's like the general idea. But wait, there's more. I obviously had to pay for the machines. And this is how much it cost for the machines. I didn't include the machines in the first list because obviously you can't assume to get all your money back on your first order. Like that's something like, that's investment. That's going to take like at least like 100 orders for you to get your money back. So yeah, I didn't put it in the list. But yeah, this is how much it cost for me to get all the machines. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting money in any way. I'm just saying it from my own will. But Cricut gave us a 10% off and a free shipping code which expires this month so definitely check it out guys so obviously if you add the machines and everything i didn't really make money but wait there's actually more you know the candies that i put in the pack those candies actually cost a thousand dollars for me to make and it was for another video so i didn't want to really include it into the list for the cost but it still costs a thousand dollars to make but wait and there's more. If you guys bought my products, you would know that I did get shipping fee from you guys, but I only asked for $10. Okay, it's kind of my fault, but shipping fee actually turned out to be $25. So basically, I paid that extra $15 from my own pocket. So while the products were $35, basically, I paid $15 for you guys. So it turned out to be $20. So yeah, it's kind of my fault. Whoever bought my products are my subscribers, people who support me. So I'm just really grateful that you guys actually bought my products. So yes, including everything, including all the costs and the shipping fee and everything, I really didn't make much money, but I had so much fun with the experience and I think that's what matters the most. So yeah, I think that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!